happy Tuesday, December 5th. We are home. We are the work closed. We are settled. We have dinner figured out. We're having smoked sausage mac and cheese for dinner, which I have shared on the last several vlogmases. Um, if I can find the video I'll, from previous years, I'll put it in there. Otherwise, I will probably copy and paste my recipe down below. Um, yeah, let's talk about knitting stuff and Happy Mail and, and vlogmases I'm watching because I've had a request for that. So, in Yarn Mail, small haul today, but I got the socks that I ordered from Maggie of Yarnaceous Fibers on a uh, small business weekend, Saturday, virtual Friday, sh shopping, cyber day. Because what is that called? I mean, come on. I can't remember what day I bought this. Anyway, this is Welcome to Roarville. I think like Who Whoville. This is like a Christmassy sock set. This is on her Salt of Fingering, which is her sock base. Has a 85 Superwash Merino 15% nylon. I did that without looking. 437 yards in the main and 87 in the mini for 20 grams, so 120. And it came with my or a Fueled by Yarn and Dinosaurs and Yarn sticker. And I got these little, these dorky little sheep friends. I just say dorky because they're so cute. One's its head and one's its butt. Should we take it out and see if it, um, if like the, it's the same forward and backwards? Should we look? Nope, one is the head and one is its little, little tushy. Oh, now the tushy is turned around. Yeah, one is its front and one is its back. <laughs> These are cute. Yes, I also, I guess I've never really looked at Maggie's like tagline or her like slogan, hand dyed yarn to last the ages. I haven't knit any of Maggie's yarn lately. I have, um, it's actually sitting back here because I dug them out. I have my, oh, I think it's called Love Will Abide. I always say the name of it wrong, even though I know the name of it because I know the song. It's one of her Last of Us colors, of which I have like four. That one, Ellie, no, yeah, that one, Ellie, Joel, and Anna, right? Yeah, four. We'll show you these. So I have one done. It's really pretty. I need to finish them. Ta-da. There's that one. And then I'm like this far on this one. It's got the really cool progress keeper that came with these. That's got the moth on it. Yeah. So that might need to be a priority here in the near future. I was texting Karen. Karen is like my best friend. Um, you have seen her on the Sheep and Wool vlog. You saw her on the Rhinebeck vlog. Um, you'll see her probably in this vlog at some point. I'm pretty sure you saw her on Vlogtober, maybe, at one point. Oops, that just rolled off the pile. Um, shocking. No one. Um, we were talking, because we text, obviously, and <laughs> I was saying I think I'm coming into a big sock era, which is probably good, considering the amount of sock yarn I have. Speaking of socks, here is my progress on my, hold on, because I'm, I'm in the middle of a row, because I was doing these at lunch. And then the bell rang and I put my stuff down. Okay. And then, you know, obviously it was busy until the end of the day because we only do this during lunch. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, I was like, I could have probably just pulled it back quicker than it's taking me to knit this. Um, in addition to sharing the vlogmases I've been watching, I think in the near future here, probably tomorrow, I'll share some books I've been reading. I mean, I'm saying this as I stare at some physical books across the room from me. I haven't been in a great reading space lately. I've been very in a slump. I haven't really been genre hopping and not really focusing on anything. Yeah. Anyway, here is, we'll talk about books tomorrow. Here is my, if I remember, remind me if I forget. Here is my Christmas Invasion sock. Color, camera's not doing the color justice because it's it's dim and gray again. And then I've got my David progress keeper on here now. So I'm about halfway through the leg. Um, yes, weather. I don't think it ever got light out today. It's been the same gloomy gray dark all day. And advent. So I finished up the square from yesterday. I made a boo-boo on the square yesterday in the morning. And so I didn't finish it. I had to back it out. So here's yesterday's square. Then here's today's yarn, caked up or balled up, and I'm gonna start on that here in a minute. Yeah. Okay. 
let's talk vlogmases. So I have my iPad so I can talk to you about some of them. I will um, put them in the show notes down below. Um, give me one second. YouTube. Do, 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 do. I can't, just forgot I was on camera and I'm not sitting here by myself looking through these. Okay, I am watching in alphabetical order. Beautiful Sister, Bumblebee Acres, Crafty Kristen J, who's one half of We Share Needles, um, Emily, the Botanical Knitter, Engineering Knits is doing Craftmas, which isn't Vlogmas, but is Vlogmas adjacent. Fiberbound. She's Allie out of uh, Australia. Um, Nitty Natty. Amy from Knotted Knits. Crafty Christina, who will start posting once she's back from vacation. She posted a um, like pre vlogmas, like day zero situation. Uh, Allison of Lofty Loops Yarns. Maddie, who is made by Maddie, who's the other half of We Share Needles. Megan, who is Penny Moons. Uh, Jessica, who is Neuro Spicy Knitter. Um, Never Not Knitting, Plies and Hellhounds, Professor Pearl, Pearls and Peers, Skein Deer, Stitching the High Notes, Sweet Sparrow Yarns, The Corner of Craft, This Little Wonderful Life, and Sierra of Tink and Bobble, who is back, and I'm very excited about it. So, I will tag all of those YouTube channels down below so that you can go check them out. I'm also watching Beth of... MD, oh shoot, I can't remember Beth's, um, it's like, M I think it's MD Quilter, I want to say, yes, MD Quilter Knits also is doing Vlogmas, I think that's everybody, there's a couple of people who I will watch later, like in January, because they do very long vlogs, like half an hour, like regularly, so I will watch those um, in January because it's kind of nice to have them after Vlogmas is done because then, you know, it just kind of keeps the, keeps the joy going. So that's exciting. Yay. Try, I was trying, sorry, I was thinking. I'm trying to think if I have yarn mail coming tomorrow. I think I do. I want to say my fangirl fiber clubs are coming tomorrow. So that'll be exciting. Um, I would like to point out that... I feel very little judgment from my audience about my yarn buying, but I had not really gotten much in November. And then what always happens is that Small Business Saturday, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that stuff happens. I run a pattern sale usually, then I end up buying yarn, and then all comes in the first couple weeks of Vlogmas, or like all of Vlogmas. So it looks a little ridiculous. I promise it's not as ridiculous as it looks right now. Well, maybe it is a little. That's okay. This is how I justify it. I don't spend money on expensive purses. I don't spend money on expensive shoes. I have expensive shoes, I have Birkenstock clogs, that are gifted to me for my birthday on the years I don't go to Rhinebeck. So, I mean, it's my hobby craft and I like it. And I know you probably don't judge me. It's okay if you judge me a little bit. It's ridiculous. But I like it and it's pretty. And I like supporting my friends and small businesses and I know you do too. So, it's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna let you go because it's already four o'clock. I gotta go get dinner going here in a minute. Um, oh, the smoked sausage mac and cheese recipe that I normally make, I usually use refrigerated refrigerated tortellini. Instead, I'm using a shelf stable one from Italy that they have at Target. It's a good and gather. So I will talk to you about my cooking while I cook. Um, there is smoked turkey sausage in it, so I will try not to like make a big deal about that if people don't want to see that. I mean, it's cooked, but still. I know everyone's not into the, into meat, so. Okay, cool. I will check in with you guys when I'm cooking, and then I'll see you tomorrow in case I don't sign off while I'm cooking. Bye! All right, friends, this is how we make smoked sausage mac and cheese. This is a recipe I came up with during the pandemic out of probably just desperation for what we had in the pantry. So, we use one smoked turkey sausage. Sometimes you can find a garlic turkey sausage and that makes it even better. But a standard 
smoked turkey sausage or smoked or uh, turkey kielbasa. One jar of Alfredo. Um, sometimes I do one and a half, but we only have one in the pantry. A cheese tortellini, olive oil, seasoning, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. I also like to use the pasta and pizza magic, but we're very low. And as you can see, we had an incident. We accidentally left the oven, the burner on. We have an electric stove, as you can see, and um, it melted. So we, some, we usually use this, but tonight we'll be using our Italian seasoning. So I will walk you through the next steps here in a second. Okay, so we've cut up our sausage into between a quarter of an inch and half an inch slices. Obviously they come out a little weird because it's a U shape. I always cut it in half and then cut it into little slices. My pan has uh, about a tablespoon of olive oil drizzled in and I'm gonna heat that up. And then I have seasoned, oops, there's some, there's a goober, that's from last night. Um, there is, uh, I've seasoned the Alfredo with the garlic powder, salt, and some Italian seasoning. And then we have our water boiling. All right, now we have our salted pasta water boiling. Things are heating up over here. We're going to cook this to the package direction. So I believe this takes 13 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna get that started now. So while the pasta is cooking, you're gonna brown this in the olive oil. I like using this bamboo spoon um, I am using a nonstick pan. That is just what we have because I'm lazy and don't want to take care of cookware. So you're going to let this brown. I like to deglaze the pan as it cooks too and kind of scrape up those little bits. Keeping an eye on your sauce so it doesn't bubble all over the stove. Please excuse my dirty spoon rest. And then stirring our pasta occasionally. Another thing I do, and this is kind of loud right now, but I'm sure I can be louder, um, is about halfway through the pasta cooking time, I turn off the sausage and just let it cook on the residual heat. I don't know what I was pointing to my phone at just now, but I let it cook on the residual heat. Um, I cook this over a medium high to high heat, not like insanely high, but enough to brown it quickly. Still checking out our sauce, still stirring our pasta. And when everything is finished cooking, you combine it all together. Um, I'm going to put some shredded Parmesan cheese in here as well. And yeah, this is smoked sausage mac and cheese. Not good for you, probably, but definitely a good comfort food, especially in December.